we are in spring 2020. We're doing um, metabolism. And so this will be a really short, hopefully short video on photo photosynthesis, both anoxygenic and oxygenic photosynthesis. Okay, um, so um, backing up an evolutionary time, we want to remember that when the first cells evolved some 3.6 to 3.8 billion years ago, Earth's atmosphere was anaerobic or anoxic. There was no free molecular oxygen present. And then we described with the evolution of porphyrin rings, this permitted evolution of a primitive type of photosynthetic pigment called bacteria chlorophyll. So bacteria chlorophyll, oh, typo there, um, permits a primitive type of photosynthesis called anoxygenic photosynthesis, so without oxygen being made. And the reason that no oxygen is made in anoxygenic photosynthesis is if we, if we look at a simplified reaction of anoxygenic photosynthesis, we're going to use carbon is our, um, excuse me, we'll use carbon dioxide as a source of carbon to make our sugars, so that's the same as in oxygenic photosynthesis. But instead of using water as an electron donor, um, an alternate electron donor will be used. So in this particular example, hydrogen, si hydrogen sulfide is used as the electron donor. So in anoxygenic photosynthesis, um, um, we will make our organic molecules, our glucose, but because we use hydrogen sulfide as the electron donor, instead of generating oxygen, we're going to, in this case, generate elemental sulfur. So again, this process requires bacteria, chlorophyll, and light as the energy source. This is a real cool photograph of some uh, special group of bacteria, the purple sulfur bacteria, that have bacteria chlorophyll. They carry out um, and oxygenic photosynthesis. And what's so cool is these refractile bodies inside the little bacteria cells, those are actually granules, accumulations of elemental sulfur. Kind of cool. And then through um, mutations, a group of bacteria evolved the ability to produce a new type of photosynthetic pigment, chlorophyll A. And you'll recall that chlorophyll A permits the cool process of oxygenic photosynthesis, in which we're going to make some oxygen. So in oxygenic photosynthesis, in the presence of chlorophyll A and light, CO2 will be our source of carbon for our making our organic molecules, our sugars. But now we're going to use water as our source of electrons in this process. So when water is used as electron donor, water will be oxidized to molecular oxygen. So that, and thus we have oxygenic photosynthesis. Again, it requires light, chlorophyll A, the cyanobacteria were the first cells to evolve um, chlorophyll A. And then we know through endosymbiosis, primitive um, cyanobacteria evolved into the chloroplasts of eukaryotes, such as algae and plants. And folks, unfortunately, we don't have enough time to go through all, all of the different steps of oxygenic photosynthesis. It's just a fantastic process. Um, but again, just if you know the difference between anoxygenic and oxygenic photosynthesis, you'll be fine. This is just a table comparing the different types of photosynthesis. Um, in this table, folks, don't worry about the photophosphorylation. This is, this is a type of ATP production that occurs in photosynthesis. For lecture exam two, folks, just remember substrate level phosphorylation. Um, this occurred in glycolysis in the Krebs cycle. This is where we make um, a little bit of ATP. But in aerobic respiration, you want to recall that most of our ATP is made um, by oxidative phosphorylation. Um, this involves the redox reactions of the electron transport chain forming the proton gradient. And then the proton gradient is going to help drive massive ATP production by ATP synthase. So I won't be asking about photophosphorylation on the um, lecture exam. Okay. And with that, folks, we'll, we'll close this video, and the last video will be on the nitrogen cycle, and it will be a really simplified nitrogen cycle. Um, it won't be anywhere near as complicated as this one. So let's see if we can close this one down, and we'll have one last metabolism. Video on the nitrogen cycle.